Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I've got a huge Followings haul for you. We'll call it Followings Giving because there's, you know, I, I reuse all my fall stuff for Thanksgiving. Mm. I have some coffee. Oh, and I have a baby. Oh, oh, oh. Did you come to say hi to our friends? Can you say hi? This is Wellington. Oh, and his brother came too. We have, oh, we have little Mr. Alex. Okay. You got both of them today and neither one of them wanted me to hold them. Oh, I'm itching. I am having such terrible allergies. Update on the finger. It's, it's doing, it's not, it wasn't as painful or itchy today. So I think we're on the plus side. I know, exciting, huh? Okay, I've got a lot to show you of my Halloween's giving haul. We're gonna start with a tarp. I got a tarp to do spray painting and crafting on. These are great, they're a buck. Um, I'm also gonna use this when I clean my garage and go through all my tools so I can lay them all out. I'll bring you along for the tool sorting. But these tarps are great, I try to pick one up when I see them. Um, I did find another one of these. This is a different style of the dish dryers with the orange on the inside. I need to change them out. I know you can wash them, but I don't. Just, just as a heads up, I don't. I mean, they're a dollar. I just buy new. Okay, I got more, and I actually bought four of the big skeleton to do the O-H-I-O. And if you're an Ohio fan, you know what that is. However, these are so large that I, I don't know that these are gonna work for what I want to do. So I've come up with another plan, but I do have enough to try. I just don't have a piece of board big enough. They're double this length. So they're like this tall when you stand them up. So we'll see, but I have them and I'm not gonna get rid of them. So, you know, we'll see. I grabbed those, but what I think I might end up using, if I can find it, are these little guys. So I have an idea, put your foot down, sir. I have an idea with these guys here, and I am working on my DIY for Halloween video this week. I'm gonna have a bunch of little, little easy DIYs in one video, and this is definitely something that I'm going to work on. So I'm even leaving that out separate because I might work on that tonight. Um, oh, a favorite. I found the cups. I just got the one that says my favorite color is autumn. And look at the gold flowers in there. I love these double walled cups. They hold a fair amount. They don't sweat. I love them. Um, I know they had them in navy blue and I think I saw them in orange and the orange I think says gather. What you doing buddy? Hi. What are you doing back there? These cats are such weirdos. Come here. No. Okay. Now for more DIYing I found at my store and I got two of these. They're just, I will tell you that is sharp in there. So if you got little ones be careful. They're just little tin, tin galvanized. But what I'm gonna do is put like tea on here and I'm gonna put my fall teas and my winter tea in this. So I grabbed two because I think I'm gonna use these on my new coffee bar. Oh, hi. On my coffee bar that I'm gonna redo for fall winter. I haven't done it yet because I'm waiting on my FabFitFun box to show up. But I grabbed two because I think one might be for sweetener, one might be for tea. Um, now they do have the ones with the handle like this, and then they have ones that have stars for the handle that I've seen. And they're not big, but I think they are perfect for a coffee bar or a hot chocolate bar. If you do that for the winter for your kids, you could do like hot chocolate packets in here or packages of, um, marshmallows or your stirs. I just think these will be super fun for that. And you can personalize them. So that's my plan. I'm trying not to scratch them up. So I want to leave the tissue 
in between. And I didn't, I have seen them in a couple stores, but with the handles like that, I've only seen at one store. So that will go upstairs and get put together, right baby? Yeah. I picked up, and I want to show you because I'm not going to do it right away. I got some more of these hats, and I got the acorns, and I want to show you. This could be a Santa gnome. What? I mean, I'm going to do a video on how I'm going to put these gnomes together, but I saw this acorn, and I was like, that is a beard. Like, that could be a beard. So I grabbed one more pack of each of these just to have. I really love these little wooden um, ornaments. And I will tell you, I take the lightweight spackle and I put in the hole, if I'm not gonna, the hole you can use for garland or to hang them, I fill it with that lightweight spackle and it dries real quick and then you paint right over it and you don't see it. So I grabbed a couple more of these just to keep in my wooden stash, pretty much. And, oh, just for more crafting, I was running out of my fix-all and a couple of my stores were out of stock. So I grabbed two today that I saw. And that's just general DIY stuff. I love the fix-all for me, or to me, it works just as well as um, E6000, really. Hey, buddy. I picked up a pack of these wipes. I'm going backpacking again in a couple weeks, I think. And these are great just to throw in my backpack for end of day wipe up, or if you potty and maybe need a little extra cleanup out in the woods or to wipe your hands, you get 20 pre-moistened. These are great for travel too. I used, took these with me several trips that I've taken on the airplane. And I love having these in my backpack, especially if you go international, sometimes store you know we're used to the u.s and what we have here and if i go to another country i don't want to expect or assume that they're going to have the things that i need so i just throw these in my backpack and, or the flushable wipes i also throw um napkins or tissues in my back and i just keep them with me all the time it's just easier you know but and i love the handy little size now these are antibacterial so i have to read the back to see if you can even use them for like toilet paper if not, I'll get some of the other. Um, antibacterial moist wipes contain soothing aloe to help moisturize your skin and leave it feeling soft and smooth. Our moist wipes are thick and strong to help even the roughest skin. So probably won't, you know, I'll get some of the um, other wipes, the Cottonelle wipes or something, Charmin wipes. But these are great for wiping your body off. And they're pretty lightweight. Um, oh, I found one of these and I just thought it was adorable. It's just a little frame. It's galvanized on the back. You can either hang it or um, it has a, a leg that comes out. Nope, this is just hanging. You put your slide your little picture in there and then you can crick it or write on here with paint pen or a sticker or a marker or you personalize it. And I just thought that was adorable. They also had ones that was like this size. It didn't have the place over here to personalize. It just had the dog. But I loved it. And I felt like this was very like boho or farmhouse with the, um, the galvanized. I just grabbed one. I thought that would be something fun to potentially, um, you know, do something with. I did find the Halloween bags. So the one bag has the ghost on it and it's so cute. And then this one says trick or treat. And then today when I was at the store, I found the bags with um, the sugar skulls on them, which to me doesn't have to just be at Halloween time, but I don't need a bunch of Halloween bags. But I thought these were adorable. And the sides on this are black, just plain black. But they're great if you're gonna bring a gift to somebody. I thought this would be fantastic. Now, speaking of gifting to people, I found the two coffin clear plastic containers. And we're gonna open one just to see. 
um, I so these remind me material wise if you're a kid that or somebody that was my age I'm 50 when I was in like middle school having these clear boxes and writing on them with marker pens was like all the rage and I remember going to stores and them having these little plastic boxes in all different shapes and sizes. Um, yeah, and the lid stays on. I was worried that the lid wouldn't stay on, but it does. And what I'm going to do with these, I've decided. So I got this one, which almost has like a little rainbow effect to it. And then this one is the purpley smoky. I think what I'm going to do is open it up and put a little bit of the black crinkle paper and then put some fancy candies in it and probably a bow if I can find some black ribbon or Halloween ribbon and tie it up and give it to, to my niece with probably like a Starbucks gift card or something. But I think these are fantastic to gift like to adults for Halloween or older teenagers. If you got grandkids or something, maybe put a gift card in here and some fun Halloween candy if they're old enough that they're not trick-or-treating, but you still want to give them a little something. I think these are fantastic and they're fairly large in size. I mean, that would hold a decent amount of candy and it definitely would hold a gift card inside here. So I'm going to do that. So I grabbed three because I didn't, wasn't sure how many I wanted to do. And I'm glad I did get the three because the store that I found them at, I went back and they're gone. And I've only seen these at one store in my area. Um, I do get that question often. How many stores do I go to and how often do I go to the stores? In my general area, I have four stores now that I go to on the regular. And I rotate. So like this evening, I ran to one store in Canal Winchester, Ohio. It's about 10 minute drive for me. Um, maybe yesterday, or I didn't go yesterday, but the day before I went to two stores that direction. And then on Sunday, I went to Pataskala and then I bought pumpkins on my way back. So I don't go to the same store every day, but I go to several stores a week. Excuse me, but that's how I kind of find the stuff. You know what I mean? That's how I find all the things. Hi, sir. Do you want some petting right now? I don't understand what's happening. Um, all right. I found, and I have not seen these at my stores ever. So I found one. Um, this is just the cutting mat. I don't think it's a self healing, but it might be. But for me, I am going to use it probably for painting like my little, my little wooden ornaments and stuff. And it'll just keep the mess contained. I can cut on it. I have rotary cutters and things, but I have a larger one that I'm trying not to ruin. So I thought this would be perfect. And it, it's flexible, and I think it'll be a good surface to craft on, even glue gun and stuff. Just because I'm not, I don't care if this gets paint on it. I do care if my expensive one does. Uh, but I don't know if this is self-healing. I've not, I've not cut on one before to tell. And I know these are not new, but it's new to my store. I've never seen them before at any of my stores. So, hi. Oh, oh we're laying down. Okay. We're laying down. Apparently, we're going to cuddle. I'll show you. We're going down. What you doing, buddy? Huh? What are you doing? Yeah? You want to screech? All right. You can lay here. We'll go back up. Ooh life with a cat. All right, so I found that. And that's just general crafting. I think that's it for the general crafting stuff. Alrighty, I found at my one store, I love this pumpkin. I'm not doing anything to it, even the bow. I don't even hate the bow. So it's, although I feel like it's an upside down S, I mean, it's not, but I feel like it is upside down. But they had them in white with the black buffalo check. And then there's a metal leaf here. And they had them in orange with a lighter S or lighter color. I think raffia. But I liked this one. I love this a lot. Like I just want to sit it on my mantle. This will probably come out when I pull out, when I put fall away and go Halloween on my mantle. When I pull Thanksgiving out, this will probably go up or it may go outside. I don't know, but I love it. So they have the white and I just, I love it. I think it's perfect and I wouldn't do anything to this. 
So I grabbed this. And then I'll leave this with my decor. And look at these. I lucked out when I found these because I saw remnants at other stores with like different letters, but I only found one of the S. This would be a perfect Christmas gift if you were giving like somebody with a new apartment. You could fill it with cutlery or cooking or wooden spoons. You could put a plant in here. Like there's a lot of things you can do. And what I also like is it's double sided. So I really enjoy this and I think I'm keeping this for spring and then I'm going to put some a spring plant in it and put it on my mantle this spring or on the table behind me maybe. But I probably will just sit a pot in here. This, I don't know if I would want to try to water something in this, but yeah, I love it. And I think this would be so nice for springtime. Hi, sir. Can I move my foot? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Now, last thing I found for fall, I finally found these little mini pumpkins. And I think they're like velour. So I grabbed, there was only one in the white at my store and then I grabbed and two orange. This is what was left at my store. Um, yeah, they are like a little velvet and they're just a tiny little pumpkin. I am desperate to maybe paint the, the tip on this gold. I love a, a good metallic. But I grabbed one, it's just vase filler for thank, when I decorate for Thanksgiving and maybe my tiered tray, they'll find a home or somewhere. But I thought these were fun. And even if I don't use them all this year, these will definitely go in my decor bucket because I can use these for years to come. They are nice little squishy pumpkins. Maybe I should give one to Alex to play with. I don't know, my battery. It just told me my battery's getting low. So I love these a lot. And I was super excited to find those for crafting purposes. Um, okay, I will show you this. I'm opening it. Because I just need to. It's a surprise. One second. Hi. Hello. <laughs> it's a mask. It's a mask. It's a rubber mask. And when you talk, it opens. Here. Guys, there's something wrong with me. I know. I know there is. Uh, these are silly masks animal noise mask I don't know how it makes the noise but I didn't hear any noises in here did I it is rubber and it is nasty but I think most children would enjoy it and it probably needs like a kid's face and not a grown-up ah. ah. no I need to stop. I'm cracking myself up here, guys. Ooh, and it's got goo on it. It's all over my glasses now. Okay, I can see you. All right, that was just fun. <laughs> all right, I have some more stuff I found for Halloween. I'm gonna take these out of the bag, but look at this. This is called Vampire Blood, but they're like, um, They're like uh, Capri Suns or the squeezable little containers. And I think you can fill them up with like an adult beverage, right? Have a party, fill them up, put them in the fridge or put them in a cooler and you can take them with your drink in them. I'm pretty sure these are food safe or food grade. I don't, they don't say but they show that they are full of food. So I thought these would be so fun, especially if I go to like my cousins or something for Halloween, I could put a couple drinks in here. If you don't even want to use it for like to drink out of, I mean, you can just make a fake IV. It says vampire blood on it. And this to go, 
with the little syringes. I mean, these are fun, guys. It's just a fun little something. Maybe I'll give it to my cousins if they decide that they're having a Halloween party. I think that'll be fun. So I'm going to put this stuff in my, or this is crafty. This goes in my party tin. So if I ever get invited to a party, I can wear my mask and bring my vampire blood. I'm telling you, I'm on it. Okay, we've got a couple more. I got some vase filler. I have some DIYs coming up that I needed some like filler for. So I grabbed these black silver little shrunken skulls and the white and I thought I would just mix them together. So I grabbed those and then I grabbed this purple because I love purple. And this is also vase filler. I could honestly with my decor, which the cats messed up, I could use this, this filler for Thanksgiving as well. But I have a Halloween in my Halloween video that I'm getting ready to make. I needed some filler. So I grabbed those and also I figured this could be some filler as well. Although I feel like I showed you this already. I don't remember, but this also could go on a tiered tray and the filler, the little tiered tray I have coming out for Halloween, I, any extra filler that I have, the tray is pretty small so I can sit any of these items that are left because what I'm using to fill, none of this will, will fill that. Um, so there's that. Now, the last things, all right, buddy, I need you to move over, thank you. The last things I found, these are rub-on transfer sticker sheets, and this says pumpkin spice and everything nice, and this says happy fall, y'all. Now, they're showing this on the glass, and it says this product is a transfer type sticker suitable for all smooth surfaces like glass, tile, furniture, paper, gift box, etc. Not reusable. Please make sure to find the right place it should go on before you rub it on. Peel off the backing. I don't know if this is washable. I don't know. They're showing it on a wine glass, but I feel like if it's a rub on transfer, as soon as you wash it, it's going to come off. I don't know but it would probably be cute on some wooden signs. I was looking for the Halloween ones and I haven't seen them yet, um, but I did grab these two and I don't know what, how many you get, like one? Maybe you only get one. Let's see what these even look, okay, okay. Yeah, you just get one in here. Yeah, just the one, and that's what it looks like. And it will transfer over, and so you have to read the directions is what I'm gonna have to do. But we'll figure out something to do with these. It's probably not gonna be a wine glass. I mean, I have wine glasses, but I just don't think that that's ideal. I'm trying to reopen this in the middle. Oh, Oh, it's not in between. This is actually the dick decal. I thought I was pulling it out from in between, but that is actually the decal on the front. That's not a picture. That is it. So I grabbed those DIYs, guys. And the last thing I found I am super excited about. I just gave you a little peek. But these window clings are everything look at them sweater weather pumpkin spice fall it says fall breeze autumn leaves hello fall like these are amazing they're window clings but i believe some of them are sticky or will stick to glass and if they don't then mod podge will work i'm just trying to see i don't know but look at these Look at that bear and his glasses. Like, are these not adorable? Thanksgiving, a little deer, I don't understand that. Look at the squirrel. Like, these are everything. I had to have them, I had to. And I don't even like window clings in general, but I feel like these would be great to put out. Somehow get them apart and get the cling off and see if I can stick it to a, like, I was thinking getting one of my picture frames that is backless and just sticking this on the picture frame on the glass and standing it. 
But these are adorable. Look at that bear. He's everything. And I hope that they come out with new Christmas ones. I'm bored with the old ones. Um, I'm sorry. What? Pumpkin spice and everything nice. Gobble till you wobble. Sweeter than pumpkin pie. Now these are glittery. However, there's no fallout on this glitter. Like this is all glitter and there's no fallout. It's in there. Are these everything? I think so. And then this one, more coffee. Uh, pumpkin spice home is where you smell pumpkin spice. A candle that looks suspiciously like a Bath and Body Works candle. We've got a coffee cup. We have some garland. I mean, these are amazing. I'm going to find a use for these somewhere in my house. And then the last one I think is awesome for decorating. Look at these. They're all little signs. Gobble, gobble, pumpkin. Like, I just need to see if I can get one of these off. Okay, here we go. Are they... They're not sticky. So they're not stickers, they're cling. Some of the times they're sticky. So what we would need to do is either put it on glass or put a little Mod Podge down to make these stick. And I think I'm gonna put, get one of these with some Mod Podge on a candle. So when I do my fall little decorating stuff, um, I will show you on one of those tall orange candles, maybe one of these signs, like sweater weather. Isn't that perfect? I love it. Sweater weather, um, hay rides this way. I just think these are fun. I love that teal color. These are great. Now they're not sticky, like I said, but that's okay. You just need to put a very thin layer of, if you're not gonna put it on like a glass surface, you wanna put down a very thin layer of Mod Podge and let it dry. Don't mess with it, just let it dry. And then if you want, you can put the layer of Mod Podge over the rest of it to seal it in or not. It really just depends on what you plan on doing. Now, if you're just gonna put them up on your mirrors or on glass, you don't have to do anything. But if you're gonna put it on like a wood surface or something, I would definitely recommend putting down the little layer of Mod Podge, sticking it, it'll slide around, let it, and then don't touch it, let it dry completely. And you wanna use maybe your um, Cricut scraper or some type of thing to get the air, or a credit card or a gift card to get the air bubbles out and then let it dry and then come back over it once it's dry. And the good thing about this type of stuff with Mod Podge is it won't bleed. Like the color's not gonna bleed. Now on the glittery stuff, you may lose a little bit of your glitter, your little sparkle to it, but I don't think it's a big deal. And if you're not comfortable with, if you wanna keep that sparkle, I would just do the glue under it and let it dry that way. All right, guys, well, I hope, I showed you everything. I did. So I hope that you enjoy my Halloween's giving haul today. And next up, I have all things Christmas. And I am so excited about that. So that'll be my next haul is all things Christmas. And you have a fantastic day. And I will talk with you later. Bye.